Hi there, Lucanus cervus acbesianus is a subspecies of the European stag beetle from Eastern Europe, Turkey, Anatolia. Akbes is a little village or city in Anatolia, so probably the name Akbesianus uh, derives from there. I had uh, three females, three males. Uh, first of them emerged uh, in February, six months ago, and one of the males is still living and is still alive and well. Look here, this is the male that is already living for, for a good six months now. And he's now feeding on a, on a little uh, piece of a peach. So they can live six months, that's not a problem. As, as as far as I know, if you feed them well with fresh fruit and if you keep them cool, they can live uh, more than half a year, especially the males. The females, mostly when they have laid out all their eggs, they are exhausted and uh, die pretty fast. And when they finish their egg, egg laying process. Now here is this uh, nice male. I will keep him till he dies of a natural uh, event and this is the female that I've seen in one of the uh, last boxes that I checked just before. If you want to see that, uh, go to the German playlist to see the, where you see the third uh, box, breeding box of Lucanus Servus Occupationus that I have checked for eggs. What I do now is I want to have a look in the box. Last time um, we checked Lucanus Servus Occupationus, we just went through the whole substrate um, and we found uh, 10 eggs, 5 we put in each of one of these boxes and today I want to see uh, whether they have hatched here or not and uh, I will show you what we do. If you uh, see the last videos I did, you can go back or, or move to the kimchi sections where I show you how to, to pre prepare the rearing cages. This box as it is now, look, it's living, it's full of um, little animals, it has a lot of mushrooms coming out of the... This is a microcosmos that the, these uh, stag beetles need, this must be white rotten wood with mushrooms coming out. Um, that's the interesting place for them to live and I'm sure that here there are some more larvae in but we don't touch them now, we just leave them in here just for the next four months and we will go back here around Christmas time to see. But this box now, I want to see whether we find uh, some of the eggs hatched already or not and what we do with them. So I have to put this Mr. Stark Beetle here away. It's really a nice, a very nice Beetle in his uh, retirement box. Okay. Well, now here is uh, from outside. I don't see no eggs anymore, and I hope that they have not died. But I hope that uh, you can see some lorry here. Oh yeah, one I see here. Let's just put the female here away so that we can show it to you. This side here, you just see a very freshly hatched... Oh, now I have to pay attention. There's, there's an egg here, still waiting. I try to present it to you. The hatched little larvae and the egg that is closed before hatching. I put here close to it so that you can see the difference a little bit also between these two in size. Well, that's it. And um, what I see here is another lorry. There is a, a bunch, a whole bunch of them now. Three. Now let's have go back and see whether we have some more. There's another L1 here, ultra small, these, these animals are so tiny, so very well, but we have now three L1s and one egg, so there must be one 
more X somewhere or oh, we just missed it so I don't know I will put the rest of the material where I don't see anything anymore into a box of Lucanus Tervus Occupationus that I'm checking in another four months too so if there is an egg still in here it can hatch in this other box and is not uh, killed by throwing it away somewhere and now I show you what I do with this little larvae just to check whether this system is uh, working well I have this kimchi box that's not a poor kimchi it's a mixture between kimchi flake soil and leaves 50 50 and then here I press a hole into this put a little bit of the original material in there so that the the larva is in the surrounding that uh, it knows already and then I take the little larva put it in here cover it very carefully that's it and I do it with all of these and I try to do it also with the egg and we will see whether we have success also with doing that with the egg and we will put only one larva in each of the boxes so we can check whether the system is okay for them even in this very early state of L1 because I know it's um, if you're doing this not only for showing it uh, to the public in this video you probably would wait until they are a little bit bigger but sometimes it's interesting to show you also the very early stages of this larvae and to show you some techniques what you can do with them if you happen to find so small L1 larvae or even eggs in a substrate so here also I have prepared now the box for this very small L1 larvae here I put it in cover it carefully with original substrate well that's it another fourth um, box I try to do that with this egg that we found here this must be moments before hatching I put it in here well that's a really big one I think you can already see a little uh, larvae shining through but this is difficult to see under this microscope you should have um, a better even uh, more micro lens to see that so that's it we have four boxes three with L1 larvae one with an egg and then here I have from the other box that I just checked before I have five more of these boxes so that's the thing that we can check in around four months and I hope you are also there uh, to see the next video. Thanks for watching.